Hey you guys, welcome back to another video, I'm Michigan Sports Talk here, in this one we're going to be doing a uh, Michigan football recruiting video as Michigan picked up a, re a commitment from 3 star 2023 running back Cole Cabana, I uh, know this happened a couple days ago on Saturday, uh, I wanted to make this video yesterday, then the Gaddis news came out, so we're going to be talking about it in this video today, and everything you guys need to know about Cole Cabana and how huge his commitment uh, is for Michigan. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Alright, so Cole Cabana is a 3-star on 24-7 sports composite uh, rankings. He is the number 22 running back in the class of 2023 and number 7 prospect in Michigan, ranked 362 nationally. He is a very speedy running back, very fast running back. Um, actually chose Michigan over Michigan State. He is 6 foot. Uh, 180 pounds and he's from Dexter, Michigan, an in-state prospect who is very, very fast, like I said, and it's a huge, huge pickup for Michigan. Now, he would have been really good under the speed and space uh, offense with Josh Gaddis. Obviously, Josh Gaddis leaving now, uh, but we, we are still going to be using him very well and his speed is going to be amazing here at Michigan. Now, he did hold a lot of offers, including West Virginia, uh, Temple, Syracuse, Purdue, Pittsburgh, Michigan State, of course, Marshall, Louisville, uh, Cincinnati, and Boston College, and then obviously Michigan. So, uh, he chose Michigan over Michigan State. Now, he actually grew up a Michigan State fan, which is pretty interesting. Um... You know, obviously, what affected his decision is also Jim Harbaugh coming back and all of that. But before we get into all that, I just want to talk about how great of a player he is. He is so fast. Looking at his highlights, I mean, he just does it with ease and he can get to the end zone very, very quickly. Um, he actually ran a 4.34 in a 40-yard dash at the recent Rising Stars camp and was timed at 10 0.69 seconds in the 100 meter dash as well. Now, Cabana rushed for 1,688 yards and 24 touchdowns uh, at Dexter uh, last season as a junior. Using Cabana in different types of ways here on Michigan's offense will be really, really good, including, you know, screen, quick passes to him. He can get up the field quick. It's obviously some, uh, you know, growth that he has to make especially in the in the college level uh there is one play where uh, you know he was trusting his speed a little bit too much um and pretty much uh, instead of you know going forward and uh you know <clears throat> kind of went um started running towards the sideline and eventually i caught so he's got some you know uh, mental errors or uh you know youth errors that he will obviously learn and obviously with my card he will learn you know all the great techniques and everything uh, that a running back can have so coming here to Michigan um, you know I mean I don't know why a running back wouldn't want to come here to Michigan obviously and just picking up him stealing him from Michigan State is very huge um, and you know he's going to be just like kind of like a Blake Corum uh, also people kind of compare him to Chris Evans he was obviously a faster uh, running back and obviously he's not you know that built or anything uh, but he's very fast so very uh, glad to have him and we're definitely going to use him like I said it's a huge steal from Michigan State just uh, keeping him here and uh, I think several he thanked several people during his announcement uh, he actually committed obviously Saturday in the public uh, including he thanked including his parents grandparents coaches and recruiters from all schools before putting on the Michigan hat he also said it is also uh, the school that is going to give me the best opportunities for making it to the next level as well as academically. Uh, so obviously, you know, Michigan, their academics playing in a factor to getting him. Now, uh, I think with Michigan and their running backs, obviously we had Haskins as the power back and Corum as the faster running back. I think with Cole Cabana, obviously going to be very fast here in Michigan. So maybe we can try and find a power back in the class of 2020, 2023. We do have uh, CJ Stokes in the class of 2022, uh, but you know, finding one in 2023 also would be uh, cool as well. So in the class of 2023 so far for Michigan. So in the cl class 2023 we have right now four-star linebacker Raylan Wilson, four-star tight end Andrew Rapalia, 
uh, three-star wide receiver Samaj Morgan from West Bloomfield, Michigan, and then three-star running back, obviously Cole Cabana from Dexter, Michigan, and then three-star kicker Adam Samaha from Ann Arbor, uh, Huron, Ann Arbor, Michigan. So we actually have the number one uh, kicker in the class 2023, so that's very cool. Um, and right now, I mean, the class 2023 looking good, and hopefully we can keep going. Uh, another commit out of Cole Cabana. There's, there's nothing else to say about Cole Cabana. He is just a very fast player, and we're going to use him very, very well. And uh, he's going to be a very great addition to this Michigan team. Also, a lot of people think that towards the end of the recruiting cycle that he will move up to a four-star. I'm pretty sure he is rated a four-star on On 300, but on 24-7 Sports and 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he is a three-star. So, uh, just to clear that up, but that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Um, th like I said, there's not much else to talk about other than he is just a very fast back, very talented, and like I said, I mean... Ran a 4.4, or excuse me, 4.34 40 yard dash, um, and also 10.69 100 meter dash as well. And he had 1,688 yards and 24 touchdowns at Dexter in his junior year. And uh, he does it with ease, it looks like, in some of his highlights. You know, he just gets the end zone very, very fast. So he's going to be very, very, very talented here at Michigan. And uh, it's a huge pickup. You know, like I said, sealing him for Michigan State. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see him in the maize and blue uniform. Um, should be fun. It should be fun to watch him, hopefully. And hopefully he has a great career here and uh, a lot of potential in him. So other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.